bring in now Congressman Raja Chris Namurti, uh, an Illinois Democrat on the Intel Committee who questioned the witness today. Congressman, I appreciate you joining us. I know it's been a long day, so thank you so much. The White House says that today's testimony is somewhere between a tie and a win for them. What's your reaction to that? Oh, I'm not sure about that. Um, you know, I think that uh, Lieutenant Colonel Vindman this morning uh, provided you know, very compelling testimony. I know they tried to do their best to attack him, which is really shameful the way they did it, trying to question his loyalty, um, you know, imply that as an immigrant that he could not possibly be patriotic. Um, and um, you know, just you know, going after him in ways that are really unbecoming, but I think that they didn't lay a glove on him. Well, I want to play he, this because you took great issue yeah. to that. Let's listen. Your father never gave up working hard to build his very own American dream, did he? He did not. Well, Lieutenant Colonel Vindman, your father achieved the American dream, and so did you and your family. From one immigrant American to another immigrant American, I want to say to you that you and your family represent the very best of America. I assume that you are as proud <clears throat> to be an American as I am. Correct? Yes, sir. You, uh, implying, you think they were implying that he wasn't loyal to America because he's an immigrant? Yeah, I mean, you, you heard one of their question lines, uh, you know, talking about how he may have been offered the uh, post as a defense minister at, at Ukraine. Um, I think it was uh, kind of an unserious offer made by, uh, you know, a senior advisor in, in Ukraine. And, uh, you know, they took it so seriously as though he's... Uh, you know, uh, more interested in protecting the, protecting Ukraine than protecting America. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about uh, move forward and talk about what's going to happen tomorrow. We're going to hear from the EU ambassador Gordon Sondland, a key witness who spoke directly with the president about the shakedown. Do you sure. expect him to be truthful? Because he's changed his testimony. He's had to amend it. He's he's remembered new uh, events and conversations and statements. Uh, that's why he amended his uh, deposition testimony. Maybe he'll remember more tomorrow. Uh, as long as he's truthful and he's fulsome, I think that uh, he'll be a, in good shape. But the most important thing here is we got to get to, you know, uh, the events in question and, you know, what happened, who said what and who directed it. Um, and uh, I think that he's really at the epicenter of this. Congressman Christian Murdy, thank you so much. Hey, thanks, Dan.